Evening guys and gals, it's Westy Runner here. A lot of the videos I've done previously have been about trail or ultra running. This time I'm going to do something a little bit different. Over the next three or four months, I'm going to produce one video each week talking about my training to run the Christchurch Marathon, where I'll be hoping to run my first ever sub three marathon. Um, a little bit of history. Over the past couple of years, I've had a couple of goes at this, serious attempts with decent training blocks. Um, I ran three or six in Auckland, wasn't quite fit enough on the day. And then I ran 308 in Toronga in 2019, probably not the right day and not the right course. 2020, we're just not going to go there because it was a shit show all around, frankly. But this year, it's going to be different. It's going to be better. I'm working with a coach, James Kugler, and he's really helped me build up and get my training sorted. I've had a really good aerobic build up. And I'm looking forward to sharing with you my training and how I've structured uh, you know, my build up to the Christchurch Marathon. So I'm really looking forward to that. So let's now go and look at my training for the past week, week one. Okay, so I'm in Strava and we'll just take a look, little bit of a look. Um, you can see over the past couple of months, I've built a nice aerobic base. That's nearly all simple aerobic running. You know, not a lot in the way of uh, interval sessions or any kind of quality running. Note there's a little bit, bit of a dip here around the beginning of December, late November. I managed to bruise my ribs and it took nearly two months for that to heal. I don't recommend it at all, it was not fun. But here's week one of marathon training. So let's see how we did. It's a pretty typical week for me. Um, so there'll be a mixture of aerobic running and some interval sessions. And so what I'll typically do is I'll have uh, programmed for me six days a week running by my coach, James Kugler. And we'll start off with a little bit of aerobic running. We'll have a number of sessions in the week, including some threshold intervals, some aerobic strides, um, some VO2 max intervals. And normally Friday is a day taken off. But because I cut the aerobic with strides down, I was supposed to do about an hour and a quarter and I only really did about an hour before hitting the strides, I thought I'd just have a very, very nice easy run. And so say 25 minutes absorption. And so that's a, a really easy 5K jog for me on exhibition drive here in West Auckland. Uh, weekend, we'll tend to have a tempo run on the um, Saturday morning. Um, so there'll be like half an hour at a nice easy sort of five minute per kilometre pace. We'll have uh, half an hour of tempo running which will be done at about 4.15 a k, maybe slightly faster, maybe slightly slower depending on conditions. And then finishing up with another 30 uh, minute cool down which is about six to six and a half kilometres for me. Um, so yeah I'll typically do that on the waterfront because it simulates a nice flat marathon course. Final day of the week, we're supposed to do two hours aerobic, but I kind of got the opportunity to go and run with my friend Eugene. So we went up and we ran to hang out on an absolutely glorious morning. And you saw some of that in the, uh, some footage from that in the intro today. So that's my week. It's a pretty typical week. So I'll run six days a week. I'll have three sessions uh, with some kind of quality in it. Um, you know, and over the next 14 weeks, we'll see how that works out. Um, typically the, the sessions will get harder as we go, so I'll have more intervals. They might get slightly faster, uh, depending on how I'm feeling at the time. But the idea is we'll kind of start, I'm running, I've got this in miles, so I ran, what, 56, so that's about 95 kilometers, 90 to 95 kilometers. And over the next 13 weeks, we'll probably end up peaking somewhere around 120 to 130 kilometers with quite a lot of quality work built in there. So that's the end of week one marathon training for me. It's been quite a good week. Uh, my legs feel pretty good. Um, not too tired, not too much fatigue at this stage, but it's early days and um, there's going to be a lot more quality running to come. So uh, good luck with your own training and I look forward to giving you an update in about a week's time. Take care, guys.